Hello, it's Andrew Hill, Vice President of Riverside Business Chamber. Tony Abu's not with us tonight, but I am here to share some business ideas with Google and how uh, some of these free concepts can help your business or improve where you are. So um, our talk tonight, we actually did this as a workshop over at Eastwood, and we linked with all the councils and the chambers together as an initiative to share and uh, work on your business, not in your business, and be seen on the screen because we had a little bit of time on our hands with COVID. So some of the things we're talking about, uh, you can easily download and you can put this on your mobile or on your desktop. And there's a whole lot of concepts there to actually help your business. So um, I definitely recommend those things because they are free and they will support uh, and you'll get noticed a lot better. So one of the free programs is called Google My Business, and it's really nice. Just go on and check and see where you're up to, and if, if you're not getting a great um, presence on, on the screen, you can claim your business name. You'll be receiving a, an email from Google, and once you get that, you can claim it online, which um, allows you to then populate it with a free website, uh, with photos, and on the right hand side of this list, you can see there's a whole step by step. And there's also a hi hyperlink. So if you're not sure what to do, you can go to the hyperlink or you can ring myself and I can show you how to do that quite easily. There is so much within Google My Business and probably some of the key things are your photos. So you can get on there and actually share your photos. There's, you can do chat services within your business. Uh, there's keywords so that people can come straight through and find your business. It can link in with reviews so people are actually talking to you. You can collect information from your clients and even put up new events. One of the best ones is with COVID, you might have some controlled times and you're not open, so you can actually use that to help you. One of the next programs is Google Maps, which is an amazing platform which shows where you are, shows you how to get one person to find your business um, and you can actually turn on the voice activation so that they can actually help you get there. You can find parking in a particular area. There's so many things with this and it's such a useful uh, resource uh, in the hands and shared everywhere. Once again, there's a hyperlink down the bottom that can help you uh, set up your own system, and it's always good to check on how your customers would see you. With Google Maps, you can do uh, many different things. Uh, one of the best ones is to work, work out when there's traffic. So uh, you can actually go around and um, find a different route to, to get to your destination. Uh, sometimes, especially in ride, we had a ride-in-ride ride policy with our cycling routes. It was just a good way to um, use maps and also you can find out like food safaris. You can work out uh, what's the local store and even go into the store and have a look uh, as you'll see with some of the other services that uh, Google offers. One of the things for myself, I'm known as a Google guide uh, at the top level and I get 8 million hits on my photos. And that is something that um, I've just populated with many photos of the events and things that we do. And we actually come up very high on the, on the rankings and it's something that we can do as a small business to actually be seen by many people in the community. One of the last bits of information is a new program called Primer and it's a best practice of small business all on your phone. You could be sitting in the train and getting great ideas. And it's just something that would help small business uh, access to great ideas and that you might be able to apply for your particular business. So thanks for listening and I'll pass you on to Stefan.